One day, a stork landed on the top of a high mountain. The people around this stork asked what he was doing and why he was here. However, the stork tongue-tied, left the golden egg at their feet in front of them and flew away without saying anything. The surrounding animals and villagers began to talk about what this golden egg was. The golden egg did indeed look like something big and precious. Then a big lion came and took this golden egg and ran away. The golden egg could be a very tasty food, as well as looking very valuable. Thereupon, the villagers and other intelligent animals went after the wild lion. After all, it was a very valuable egg and was thought to deserve more than being eaten by a lion. Thus, humans and animals began to search for the lion's home. It took days, it took weeks, but when the time came, they found the home. The traces of the golden egg were in front of the lion's nest, and the villagers who saw it thought that the lion had eaten the contents of the egg. However, they were wrong. The lion died in a corner after breaking the egg, and the bird that came out of the egg was waiting for a nest alone. The villagers were scared when they saw this bird, but they wanted to take this noble-looking bird away. Thereupon, one of the villagers said to call him the Phoenix Bird. After these events happened, the villagers started to carry the bird on their backs. However, the bird was much heavier than they thought. Also, the bird never spoke and never told anyone where it came from. Time passed and the villagers started to feed this bird. This bird, which was bred by the villagers for a long time, was ostracized by many for its fearsome appearance. However, over the years, the appearance of the bird has improved and people from the surrounding villages have started to come to see this bird. People who saw such a bird for the first time were left in a, and some even tried to buy it. However, the lord of the village did not give this bird to anyone. The bird was so beautiful that its reputation spread all over the place, and days later, a sultan came to see this bird. Although the phoenix legends say different things on this subject, there are comments that this sultan came from Arab culture. The sultan came and saw the bird and watched this bird for a while. He gave orders to his soldiers and said that he wanted to take this bird. When the master of the village said that this was not possible, the sultan suddenly became enraged and ordered his soldiers to burn the village. The soldiers and the sultan started to kill all the villagers and burn the village. The phoenix bird, who watched all this silently, saw that the villagers died and was very angry at this situation, because the villagers who fed him for years were slaughtered before his eyes. The phoenix bird, who could not remain silent about this situation, bit the head of the sultan. The sultan was so angry with this situation that he suddenly decided to burn the phoenix bird. No matter how beautiful he thought, this bird had no right to live. The soldiers tied the bird to the wall and set it on fire. The phoenix began to burn and ignite. After a while, his ashes could be seen on the ground. However, unexpectedly, there was an explosion of light, and what should they see? The phoenix was reborn from its ashes. The phoenix bird, which attacked the sultan in anger, cut the sultan and threw him from a height, and the soldiers could only watch the death of the sultan. After all this happened, the people of the sultan suddenly started to spread bad rumors about the phoenix. They said that this bird tried to kill everyone and did nothing but harm people. As these rumors spread, people wanted to harm the phoenix. After all this, phoenix suddenly started to hate people and decided not to show himself to people anymore. There were already many guards who wanted to kill him, but he was constantly flying high to protect himself from them, tired of people's aggression. The phoenix thought that if I hid on the highest mountain in the world for a long time, these people would forget about me and hid in one of the caves. He stayed on the highest mountain in the world for many years and lived here without being seen by anyone. But people were pretty stubborn about looking for him. This time, they tried to climb the world's largest mountain. Many guards fell from the mountain and died while trying to catch the phoenix. However, as everyone on the read the phoenix tail page, this bird and the bird remained there for many years. Later, he was trapped in the cave and died because of the stones that fell in front of him. But all this is just a myth, because the bones of the bird have not been found yet and people continue to say different things about this bird. It's hard to know how true all this is, but it seems that the legend of the phoenix will continue to be told for centuries to come.